Hello and welcome back for my Falcon tutorial in Python. In this tutorial, it's a continue from the last one. Um, I will show how you can change the header uh, to the client. If you respond code, normally you get the header 200, but if you need to change it, I will show you how you didn't. And I will show how you basically can stream data you get from the uh, body content you get from a get. Not all uh, clients support it because normally you will get params, but when we test it, I will just show the simple way to do things. So from from here can uh, make more experience about Falcon at your own. So first we need to uh, to go to our, our, our REST client. In this case, I want to method and. Uh, we want to say get name. So now we need the data from the body. Um, I have say we're sending JSON to our, our, uh, our REST server, and when we do this, it will add the the content type application JSON. But now we need to take the content, the JSON content from the body. In Falcon, you can do it in this way. We say data, and we say request stream read. It will only get the JSON data. So if we print it here, print, and we start our Gunicon and make a test, you will see it's returned like we did it, like a content. So we need to convert it from JSON to Python directory so we can use it. How we did it is say json.load and have the content data, sorry. Um, my mistake. And then we print da uh, data again. We restart the script and we test it again. Internal sur survey error, sorry. Uh, it's meaning loads. It's a read. Yeah, something happened here. Yeah, sorry. It's because you say JSON load and you need loads. That's my mistake. Sorry. So now we have the data object, the directory, sorry, uh, done. Then we have, we make an if statement. If we have method, we say is equal to get name, get name. We take this outside. It's meaning I basically say output is equal to nothing say out put uh, we just call it value let's take this way it's be easier for you to to understand and then we take this one and convert it to python again if i expect it right it will mean when we say method get name it will just reply the name. Value Paris, that's right, that's my name. So let's say if something is going wrong, we just want to empty uh, a null. So that's mean if we restart a service and go back and say get names and click send, then you return null. None in Python is null in, in JSON. So don't think more about that. What we want now, I, I promised you to show how you can change the your header status codes. And uh, that I will show you how you do it. It's this way. You should uh, take care about it. Um, uh, the response, the response like the bo like the body, 
uh, and then the status is equal to falcon uh, http underscore 404 and we want this in 200 as normal this is the one way I'm normal push this one 200 here and then move it away so it's only if something is going wrong we will return 404 let's try to see about it's working and we send it again something is going wrong yeah and we you see not found and I can remove the S and then try again and I get number 200 that's it's the small way and the easiest way to do it and it's working if we go down here sorry if we make an if statement outside and say method is not in sorry not in data then we need to push this way else we continue as we always do um, then we want to say data value is equal to error no method found sorry and in this case we need the right status so let's going down for status it could be it could be should we pick a survey or yeah let's pick 501 it's meaning it's not implemented so it could be misleading but for now it's fine we need to test it restart our app and then it again it's working if something is going wrong it's 404 if I remove this I have an internal error because it's not validated but if we send an empty JSON string we got it not implemented so that's just a little bit about how you can change your headers and it's a little bit about how you can receive data from a body from the client and use it inside your application. I'm hoping you enjoyed the video and I'm hoping you will want to like it. If you have any questions, you're very welcome to make a comment. I hope you want to follow my channel to get more tutorials outside. Thank you for watching and thank you for your time. See you next time.